Hey, what's up YouTube? Stacking and Packing here. And today we've got a box of nickels to go through. I believe these are going to be NF string and sun rolls, so let's take a look. And they are. So we haven't gone through nickels in a while, so this should be fun. I'm very excited to get into them. Hopefully we have as good of luck as we did with our dimes. And let's get into it. So we're going to be looking for buffalo nickels, silver war nickels, and some key dates, semi-key dates, proofs. So let's go ahead and crack open this first roll here, and let's see what we got on the end there. I think it's a 2012 possibly or something like that, and then a regular Jefferson on the other side. So a newer one and a regular one there. So let's go ahead, crack it open, and see if we've got anything good here. And from the edge, I'm not seeing any silver. It's usually more of a greenish color. So we'll go ahead and lay these out here and see if we can find anything. If we can find any of these older nickels. And let's see what this one is. This one looks like an older nickel. It's a 1970 San Francisco, so that's not anything special there. And let's see. I'm looking to see if we have anything that's sticking out to me. Nope, that's nothing. We got a 1960. And I think these, well, this one isn't the one, but the 1960 Denver, I think there's a cud variety where right by the zero is attached to the rim so i don't see anything so far that's really sticking out that's a 1964 and i'm not seeing anything here so it doesn't look like there's anything special in this roll so i'm going to go ahead and double check it off camera more closely i'm going to get into the rest of the box hopefully we can find something good and i'll see you guys at our first find Okay guys, so we're at the 15 roll mark. So we'll go over the finds real quick. We got this one coin. It's a 1975 cent coin from Bermuda. We got this 1955, which could be a semi-key date, but this one's gonna be a Denver, so it's not. We got a 1954, we got a 1957, and we have another 1954. So we'll go ahead and put those to the side and we will save them for the wrap up. And most likely they're gonna go back to the bank. Let's go ahead and open up another roll live for you guys. And I'll show you guys how I'm looking through these rolls. So first I'll do a quick edge scan and make sure that there's nothing too crazy sticking out here. And then I'll go ahead and, and grab about the halfway mark. And then I just take a quick look at all of them like this. And I can go through them pretty quickly and see if there's anything worthwhile. And that's basically how I do it. And then I'll go ahead and double check all of these off camera anyways, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But so far, nothing in this roll. So those will just go to the side for now. And then we'll go through that second half of the roll if I can grab it here as I'm dropping all these nickels. So we missed one. All right, there we go. 1986, 2019. This one looks a little older, let's see. 1960, so not too old. 1983, your hands do get really dirty from going through nickels. And sometimes you can just look at the reverse, like I know this one's not gonna be too old. This one does look a little older, but it's probably not. It's probably an 80s, it's a 64. It's a newer one, newer one. 70. Seems like the nickels are pretty dry. In 1988. So I'm going to keep on going. I'll bring you guys in on our next find and hopefully we can find something good. And when we do, I'll bring you guys in for it. Okay guys. So we pulled out a couple of rolls here so my fiance can go through some and I picked up the next roll and I got two in one roll, 1941. And that one's going to be a Philly and a 1953. And that one's going to be a Denver. And then she just pulled out a 1950. Now we're looking for that Denver mint to see if we've got uh, key date here and we don't have it so 
too bad, but hopefully we can pull out one that does have one and that'd be awesome. So we'll go ahead and put these to the side and we'll keep on going and I'll bring you guys in for that next find. Okay guys, so we're at the halfway point of the box and we got a couple more of pre-1958 nickels here. So we'll go ahead and take a look. We had a 1941, no mint mark on that one. So it's gonna be a Philly, a 1947, no mint mark, and a 1954, no mint mark. And then we did get this foreign. It's gonna be a Canadian. And that one's gonna be in 1998. So we'll go ahead and put that up on the board for our find so far. And we'll go ahead and open up another roll live for you guys. And this is roll number Actually, I think it's roll number 26 for the hunt. Yeah, 26 for the hunt. I did just say this was the halfway point, so I should have known that. So let's go ahead and grab our nickels here. And I'm gonna kind of go through this fast and then we'll just double check all of these off camera. And let's see what this is. It's a 1958 Denver. So we'll put that to the side. We'll probably add that to the board too, even though I did say pre-58, but we'll add it to the board. All right, so put those down and get into the second half of this roll here. I'm gonna double check all these off camera. Some of them I'm just looking at the reverse and I can tell they're newer or they're not old, I should say. And we're really just looking for those pre-58s. I know a lot of people keep the 2009 nickels. I don't, I just think there's way too many of them to get any real value out of them, but that's just my preference. But anyways, I'm gonna keep on going. We'll take a look at this nickel up close real quick, this 1958. Denver, we'll put it to the side and we're gonna go ahead and get into our next rolls. Hopefully we can pull out some silver or a buffalo nickel or a key date. Okay guys, so just a couple rolls later, I pulled out a roll and my fiance pulled out a roll and we're gonna have a silver. So let's go ahead and take it out and it's gonna be a Philly Mint. I did not check the year yet. So let's take a look and see what we've got. And it's a 1945, so we had a 1945 Silver War Nickel. These are 35% silver. So we'll go ahead and add that to the board. That's awesome. Glad to have it. So we got our first silver for the hunt. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in this roll. And like I said, I am kind of going through these fast, but I will double check off camera. Most of them I can just tell from the reverse that they're newer or not as old. So I'm not looking at them on camera, but I will take a look off camera and uh, nothing there. So we'll put that to the side. And let's go ahead and get into this next half of the roll. Now I did check this one to see if it was and it's not, but we'll see if it's anything else. I know it's just not a silver, so. Go ahead and put those down. Let's take a look at what we've got here. And it's a 1981, so just a dirty coin. Probably a metal detecting fine and nothing there. So take a quick look at that. War nickel again, 1945, Philly. So we'll take it. Very happy with that. Haven't done a nickel hunt in quite a few years, so Definitely happy to be back on the silver with the nickels. And hopefully we can find a buffalo now. I'll see you guys at our next find. Okay guys, so we got 15 rolls left, so it's time for another quick update. We got this 1940, and this one's gonna be a Philly. And we got six other nickels to go through. 1949, Denver. This one's gonna be a 1951, and it's a Philly. We got another 1947 here, and that's 
a Philly. I think 47 San Francisco is a semi key. Then we got a 55 here. This one's a Denver. If it was a Philly, it'd be a semi key. We got a 46 here. It's a Denver. And then we got a 1958. Is that a 58 or a 38? 58. So a 1958 Denver. Too bad it wasn't a 38. That'd be a key date. So I'll go ahead and put these on the board. And then we'll go ahead and run through another roll for you guys. Might as well, right? So far we got quite a few finds actually. Two farms, a silver, and a bunch of pre-1958s, and I think two 1958s. So let's go ahead and take a look at this roll. Let's see if we can pull anything out. And as always, I'll be double checking all of these off camera so you guys don't have to worry about me missing any Jefferson Nichols that we should be keeping. So nothing in that first half of the roll. Let's check this second half and see if there's anything. Nineteen fifty-eight. That's a Denver. So we'll go ahead and put that one to the side. I think that makes three now. All right, so nothing too special in that roll. We'll go ahead and keep on going through the rest of these rolls. We got 14 to go before we finish up this box. Hopefully we can pull out something cool and then I'll see you guys at that find. Okay guys, so we got seven rolls left and we're gonna have our next find. And it's a buffalo so let's go ahead and take a look it's a 1937 this is how it was looking right at me let's take a look at that reverse and it's going to be a philly so that's awesome we'll take it and we'll add it to the board and we'll go ahead and finish out this roll here we were on the second half of the roll when we found that one so that was awesome and doesn't seem like anything else in this roll but we will go ahead and open up that next roll to see if there's any friends with it. And in the meantime, let me show you guys what we also found. We got this 1941 Denver. And we have a 1957 Denver. I believe the 1957 San Francisco is a semi-key. And then we have a 1946 Philly. And that 1957 Denver is in really nice condition. Then we got this 1940, and this one's a Philly. So let's go ahead and crack open our next roll here and see if we can find anything in our next roll. So far, we've actually got quite a few finds, to be honest with you guys. I'm a little surprised because we did start off that hunt a little bit slow, but then once we found that first silver, we started to kick it into high gear and we got quite a few finds since then. Put those down. And nothing in that first half. So we'll go ahead and get into that second half. Two thousand one on that one. All right, so nothing in that roll. So I'll go ahead and double check it. I'm gonna keep on going, and I'll bring you guys in for the next find or the wrap up. Okay, guys, very last roll of the box, and we're gonna have a find here. And I don't know if you guys are gonna believe this or not, because I kind of didn't believe it. But right behind this, we got a buffalo. Now I didn't look at the date, so let's go ahead and do that reveal together. No mint mark here. It does look a little bit older. So let's take a look and see what we've got. 
and I think it's a 1920 something, either a 27 or a 1928. Let me see if I can see better off camera. It's a little hard to tell with this one. I think it's a 27. Looks like it's a 27 to me. So I'll go ahead and point out what makes me think that maybe we should see if we can zoom in a little bit. I don't know if that helps any. I have to zoom back out. Well, so here's what I'm seeing. Obviously right there, it looks like a two coming down that angle of the two. And it looks like we got a seven there, a line going that way and then that way. So it looks like a 27. So I'm assuming this is a 1927. So that's awesome. 1927 Philly, we'll take it. Really happy with that. So two Buffalo so far and a silver. And let's go ahead and check the rest of these. And I don't see anything here. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll sort out our finds and then I'll see you guys in the wrap up. Okay guys, so I almost forgot in all that excitement with the Buffalo, we had a couple of finds in our last few rolls there. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. We got this 1939, and if it's a Denver or San Francisco, it's going to be a key date. However, it's not. It's just going to be a Philly. We got a 1958, and this one's going to be a Denver. 1953, and that's going to be a Denver. And then we have a 1958, which is also a Denver. So we'll go ahead and put those to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put our fines board together here have everything laid out properly, and then we'll go ahead and get into that wrap up. So just by looking at the board, I'd say it's been a pretty good hunt. After we found that first silver, we kind of kicked it into high gear and really started picking up on the finds. So let's go ahead and get into what we found. I'll start off up top over here. I won't go over, show every find just because there's quite a few finds here. So we started off with this 1939. We got two 1940s and 1941. Uh, Quite a few actually, 1941s actually, three of them. Two 1940, I think those are 46. Yep, two 1947s, 49, a 50. Too bad it wasn't a 1950 Denver. We got a 51 here, a f two 53s. We got three 54s. This one's kind of nice looking actually. Thought I'd show that. We've got two 1955s. We got a 1957, and now if this 1955 was a, not a Denver, and if it was a Philly, I believe that's either a semi-key or a key date. We got this really nice 1957. And that one's gonna be a Denver. And we got two of those, but this one's the nicer one. And then we got quite a few, I think five there, five total 1958 Denvers. Now for the fun stuff, we found two foreign coins, if I can pick them up here. We got this 1998 Canadian nickel, pretty cool. Like the beaver on the back, on the reverse I should say. And then we have this five cent coin from 1970 and this one's from Bermuda. My fiance loves this coin. So I think we're gonna hold on to this one. So a really cool coin there. And then we found two Buffalo nickels. This was just awesome. We got this one in our last roll of the hunt now this was just crazy i do believe this is a 1927 you guys can kind of faintly see that there i think it's a 1927 you see the two i don't want to touch it with this tip here because i don't want to scratch it up but you can see that two there that angle comes down just like that and then the seven right there so 1927 this one's going to be a philly no mint mark there really cool love the worn out look on these i mean they're just such a cool little coin so and then we found this one in much better condition if i can pick it up and this one's a 1937 this one's a very common year and a philly mint so very cool we'll take it definitely happy with those two finds and then we did find some silver we found this 1945 and this one's gonna be a Philly. So we'll take a look at that reverse. Really happy with this. Like I said, once we found this silver, the finds really started to pick up and I can't complain at all. It was a fun hunt. 
definitely had a fun time switching things up a little bit between the nickel hunt and the dime hunt. I really had a good time. And as you guys can tell, we had quite a few finds. So very happy with that. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know that you guys like to see the different denominations that we've been going through. And if you guys want to see more of that, or if you want me to stick with half dollars, let me know in the comments. But make sure to hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next hunt. And I almost forgot, I gotta grab that silver jar, because we're throwing that war nickel into the silver jar. Okay guys, so that silver war nickel is going into our silver jar for the month of September. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on our next hunt.